So to the north. To the north is the north pole or axis on which Earth rotates. So this is Earth's axis and it rotates on it. That right there, that topmost spot is true north and true south would be the opposite. Okay, magnetic north. Magnetic north is the direction of the Earth's magnetic pole, which is right here. So the true north is right here up on top and true south is down here. But magnetic north is just a little off to the side. Now, if there's magnetic north, there's magnetic south. So you have two main types of north. Here's another view of uh, the geographical north pole, also known as true north, and magnetic north. So true, true north is right here. Magnetic north is down there. And they're at two different locations. OK, I want to uh, briefly introduce magnetism here. Um, so here's a bar magnet. You probably played with magnets before. Well, magnets always have two poles. You have a north pole and you have a south pole. These lines are known as magnetic field lines, and these are invisible. But we do science experiments with iron filaments to uh, visualize uh, these uh, magnetic field lines. Or if we're drawing it out, we just draw arrows. So the magnetic field or the magnetic force goes from the north pole of a magnet and goes all the way to the south pole. So try and remember that. If you put a north pole and a south pole next to each other, they attract. If you put two norths or two souths next to each other, they repel. And you may have had experience with this with magnets when you try to put magnets together and you might get them to touch but they're just not going to stay and you feel this repulsive force between these two poles well that's because uh, like poles repel but opposite poles attract also uh, real quick i th thought i'd share but if you have a bar magnet and you cut it in half that doesn't mean that now you have just a south pole and just a north pole. You just created two smaller magnets with its own north and south pole and so on. Okay, so this is Earth and Earth has that magnetic field around it. So Earth kind of acts like a big bar magnet where you have two poles, a north pole and a south pole. Now I want you to remember that image that I showed you earlier about the bar magnet with the lines going out. The lines are a certain direction, so I just put a few of them here, and this was what I was just referring to. And remember what I said earlier, that the magnetic field lines go from the North Pole to the South Pole. Now something I didn't tell you, if you were to put a compass right next to a bar magnet, the arrows actually point to where the magnetic needle would point to. So if you're standing like right here, then the magnetic needle on the compass is going to point in that direction toward the magnetic north. But remember what I said, magnetic field lines go from the north to the south. Do you know what that means? It means that our north pole is really a south pole and our south pole is really a north pole. So our magnetic north pole is really a south pole, but by convention we call it the magnetic north because it's close to the north pole. 